Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To add new customers, you must open the customers page in QuickBooks Online. To do this, click the sales link in the navigation bar and then click the customers link at the top of the page that opens to the right. To add a new customer, click the new customer button in the upper right corner of the customers page to open a customer information window. Type the customer's name into the title, first name, middle name, last name, and suffix fields. You can type the customer's company name into the company field. After entering this information, then use the Display Name As drop-down to choose how to display the customer's name. Use the Print on Checks As field to choose how to print the customer's name on checks. To print the same thing as you selected from the Display Name As drop-down, check the Use Display Name checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck this checkbox and then type the name as you want it to appear on checks into the adjacent field. In the upper right side of this window, type the customer's email address into the email field. You can enter the customer's phone, mobile, and fax numbers into the phone, mobile, and fax fields. You can enter any other customer contact information into the other field. Then enter the customer's website into the website field. If this customer is a sub-customer of a larger parent customer, you can check the Is Sub-Customer checkbox. Then choose the customer's parent customer from the Enter Parent Customer drop-down. Use the Next drop-down to the right to select either Bill with Parent or Bill This Customer. This determines if this customer gets a separate bill from the parent customer or if it is billed with its parent customer. If multi-currency is enabled, you can also select the customer's currency. At the bottom of this window are five tabs named Address, Notes, Tax Info, Payment and Billing, and Attachments. The Address tab lets you enter the customer's billing address and shipping address into the fields provided. If the shipping address is the same as the billing address, you can enter the billing address and then check the Same as Billing Address checkbox next to the shipping address label. If not, uncheck this checkbox and then enter the shipping address into the fields provided. To add notes about a customer, click the Notes tab and then enter the notes into the large Notes field. To set the customer's sales tax information, click the Tax Info tab. If the customer is taxable, check the This Customer is Taxable checkbox. If they are not, then uncheck this checkbox. You can enter the details for their tax exemption into the Exemption Details field. If the customer is taxable, then use the Default Tax Code drop-down to choose the default sales tax to apply to their sales. Click the Payment and Billing tab to set the customer's default payment and billing settings. Use the Preferred Payment Method drop-down to select their preferred payment method. Use the Preferred Delivery Method drop-down to choose the default way to send the customer forms. Use the Terms drop-down to set the customer's default payment terms. If you have not yet created any payment terms, note that you can click the Add New choice in this drop-down menu to add terms on the fly as you are creating the customer's record. If creating a customer who owed you money for past invoices as of the start date of your company file in QuickBooks, you can enter the amount owed into the Opening Balance field, then use the As of Date field to select the start date of the company file. If entering a new customer you acquired after starting your QuickBooks company file, then leave these fields blank as the amounts they owe are recorded later by the invoices and other sales forms you have yet to create. To attach a file to the customer record up to 25 megabytes in size, click the Attachments tab. Then either drag and drop a file to attach onto the Drag Drop Files Here or Click This Icon field, or click the Attachments Paperclip icon. If you click the icon, use the browser's dialog box that appears to find and select the files to upload and attach. When you are finished, click the Save button to save the new customer record into the customer's list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.